influence of apps on social networking success. So the enhanced user experience provided by both web and mobile applications has significantly influenced the success and persuasiveness of social networking in today's digital age. Essentially, the fact that people are a part of these social networks have made them a great avenue for businesses to promote themselves and gain new customers through the social networking platforms. So we're going to look at a variety of tools that are associated with both web and mobile application versions of social networks that can be capitalized on by businesses in order to find success through social networking. So firstly, we're going to take a look at a variety of the different aspects of this and the first one being accessibility to social networks. So dedicated apps for mobile devices ensure that users have constant access to their social networks, increasing engagement. Essentially on my phone, I have an app for Facebook, I have an app for YouTube, I have an app for Instagram, okay? All of those are a finger press away. And whenever I pull out my phone, it is very easy for me to get onto that social network. And that's me from the individual and potential customer end. So when advertisers are pushing their advertisements through, it's likely I'm gonna see them if I'm a part of the target audience they're going for if the algorithm determines that I'm a user who might find it interesting. So straight away, because of its app uh, structure, it is easy for me to, as an individual, get onto social networks and thus for businesses to get a message to me. Secondly, is that of push notification. Apps send notifications directly to a user's device, encouraging their regular interaction and keeping users informed of new content and messages. So in particular, such as on YouTube, if someone that I've got notifications turned on for posts a new video, I will see it straight away. All right, it will come up as a notification on my phone. I will press on it and I will see that video. Now, if they've got uh, got a paid sponsorship in that video and they talk about it, well then that's gonna hit me too. All right, so that's another reason we need to know how to capitalize on social networking. And in a previous video, we talked about the use of graph and network theory, how businesses can target specific users who have influence and then get messages out to potential clients who are their viewers or who are subscribed to their channels. All right, so all of this can be linked to that first step of a push notification notifying me when a user has got a video out. I know that that new video is out, I click on it and I can watch it straight away. So that actual app element enhancing social networking once again. Thirdly, we've got locational services. So mobile ads can use uh, GPS to provide locational based services such as check-ins or local business recommendations. Sometimes if I'm in a new area, I might go onto social media and look up what's in that area. Okay, many people subscribe to their local council communities page so they know what's going on in that area. All right, but because of the what's in the actual phone and the social media using GPS technology, they can recommend specific businesses. Once again, paid sponsorships, but they know what area of the world you live in. And so they can target it at you based on the geographical place where you live and suggest businesses around you. Okay, they know that you're going to be looking for lunch. So they're going to start advertising on your page. People who provide food and restaurants and cafes that are in your area for you to go to. Because there's no point in them providing you uh, recommendations for places that are on the other side of the world that'd be a waste it's impossible for you to get there but by using this GPS technology they can specifically recommend things for you that are in your area next we've got that multimedia sharing which has been greatly enhanced due to advances in technology on our mobile devices the fact that that we have cameras and microphones okay that are built into our mobile device means that we can capture media with ease and that includes even just having the touchpad to type in text i can instantly grab that media from the real world and share it through our social networks all right and based on how good at we are at that that can allow us to develop a business if we're targeting something in specific okay we can film it get it onto the internet almost instantly after the event has happened the next area is that of personalization. Okay, mobile apps can learn from a user's interaction to tailor the content and notifications they receive, which can increase satisfaction and retention. All right, 
we know what pages users are looking at. So when you post them made on that pages, okay, social media such as Facebook might actually say, oh, this person's made a new post. You might want to check it out because they know I regularly look at that page or that user is uh, seen as a strong connection with me. And I would find it interesting that they made that that post. So that whole enhancing that user experience and algorithms determining what I like within my social media platform and tailoring what content I receive and then obviously being supported by push notifications, which we spoke about earlier. That supports my user experience, makes me satisfied, and keeps me coming back. The next one is speed and convenience. Mobile apps are typically faster and easier than to use than web applications. With a web application, I've got to find the website. I have to be sitting at my computer or at my laptop, and then I've got to go to the website, um, open a browser, potentially click on a bookmark, log into the page, uh, to my account. Okay, there's a few more steps involved in getting to the actual social media platform. Whereas as said before, uh, in particular with accessibility, if there's a mobile app for a social media platform, it's pretty much, I've gotten my phone out of my pocket. My intention mightn't even have been to look at the social media platform, it might've been just to check my emails. But then because it's just a finger press away, and I know if I look at it, I'll start seeing things related to my friends or things I'm interested in. I just have to push a button and virtually it opens on my mobile phone, which is almost always on me in my pocket, in theory. All right, so it's that direct access, okay, and thus the convenience because it's all at the touch of a finger in your hand through mobile platforms. Okay, so that's one of the advantages of mobile apps over web-based apps, although obviously we can access uh, social media through both. And then the final area is integration with other apps and services. And this is a massive one because this is social networks working with social networks. Okay, the fact that we can link our social network accounts across multiple platforms okay, is a major advantage as well as with other web-based platforms and sharing media across other web-based platforms allow for expansions. So mobile apps can integrate with devices, other functions and apps such as calendars and contact lists, further embedding them into the user's daily routine. Okay, so if social media tells me there's an event coming up, I can then store that event in my calendar app and then it will remind me of when that event's on. That also increases my need to use that social media platform more often because it's a part of my organization. Okay, but as well, even with multimedia sharing, okay, I might use a specific app for sharing posts across multiple social media platforms. Okay, so when I create the media, I don't send it out specifically in that social media platforms app. I use a more centralized app that says I can share it on Instagram and on Facebook. Okay, but I just do the initial post in the specific app, which in one case, the example is the Facebook business meta app, okay, which is what I use to send out posts on both Facebook and on Instagram simultaneously, and I can schedule them as well, okay, making that efficiency happen. But that's all about inter apps integrating with each other, all right? And usually when I do it in that notion, I usually use the web-based platform because it has easier tools for me to do that for editing uh, in that way. So I use the web-based version of that. So there are scenarios, and it could be based on preference, where web-based apps or mobile apps are better in the context depending on what you're trying to do. But essentially, apps are paramount, whether they're web-based or mobile, in social media success and really create a convenient environment for users to make posts and businesses to promote themselves. So I hope this video has given you that understanding of the influence of apps and it's how integral they are to success, okay, at a business level, all right, and the tools that are within them that support that success, the locational services, the push notifications, accessibility, the quickness and turnaround of multimedia sharing because of what's built into phones and the apps being able to record that, the personalization aspect in supporting user experience, and then obviously the integration with other apps that allow for them to expand and users to create new things and satisfy specific needs. So I hope this video has really cemented that importance of the influence of apps in social media success for businesses in this modern world.